I'm Anil Kumar and here is a trigonometric identity with double angles. Let us see how to prove it. We need to prove that secant 2x plus tan 2x equals to cos x plus sin x divided by cos x minus sin x. So we can begin with the right side in this case. We can also start with the left side. Okay, so okay, let's begin with the left side. So if I write secant 2x which is secant 2x plus tan 2x secant 2x is 1 over cos 2x and tan 2x is sin 2x over cos 2x correct so cos 2x is common so we can write this as 1 plus sin 2x divided by cos 2x now now what we will do is we can write 1 as sin square x plus cos square x, right? So 1 could be written as sin square x plus cos square x, sin square x plus cos square x, and sin 2x can be written as 2 sin x cos x. The denominator cos 2x, since we are looking for cos x minus sin x, could be written as cos square x minus sine square x, right? So that is the double angle formulas which we can apply, correct? Now, now the numerator can be written as, this is like a plus b whole square, right? So let me rewrite this so that you clearly get this. So we can write this as cos x plus sine x whole square right so we are working still with the left side so only thing is I'm using this later half right half of my paper divided by cos square x minus sine square x I can factor this and write this as cos x plus sine x times cos x minus sine x correct difference of squares and now I can cancel one of these factors and I get cos x plus sin x divided by cos x minus sin x which is the right side right so I hope that helps you to understand how we solved it right so that is how we could prove this identity right so that's kind of simpler right so remember that you have to first think which side to start. You could have started from right side also. In that case, you need to rationalize, right? So in that case, you multiply by cos x plus sin x. Multiply and divide by cos x plus sin x. So as an exercise, you start from right side and get the left side. You can rationalize kind of, right? Multiply and divide by cos x plus sin x. Then you'll get this kind of a function, if you go backwards, you could do it, right? So that is how you could actually solve this type of identity. I hope that helps. Thank you.